I'd like to demonstrate the way that Excel um, copies and pastes formulas. So in this um, cell here, I've asked for the lower quartile of the numbers in cells A1 through A10. Uh, proudly tells me that's 12.9. If I copy that formula, so um, Control C, and paste it into this cell here, Control V, if we look at the formula there, what it's done is it's changed the A's to B's. Okay, so it's guessed that what we intend is for it to tell us the lower quartile of the second column of data. So I, I use the keystrokes Control C, Control V, and copy that formula across. An alternative to that is to drag this little button in the bottom right hand corner. So pull that along. And that copies that formula into this cell with B1 through B10, and this one with C1 through C10. Okay, so in that case, it does quite useful things. If I copy the formula down and have a look at what's happened there, notice it's changed from A1 to A10 to A2 to A11. So that's actually not that's not doing what I intend. So let me go back to the original. The way I prevent that from happening, I don't want it to change the rows, is I type a dollar symbol before the beginning row and the, the final row. Copying that across it makes no difference to um, the behavior in that direction. It goes A, B, C. But if I copy that down, then it keeps 1 through 10, giving me an opportunity, for example, to replace the 1 by 2, and I get the median, and if I control C, control V, and maybe change the third one to the upper quartile, and I've got the three quartiles. Okay, so using the dollars there allows me to... Um, to maintain the focus on those uh, those 10 cells with data. Copying across. Um, <coughs> updates to column B, updates to column C. Okay, so using those dollar symbols um, has proven handy there. Now, supposing I didn't intend for it to um, focus only on a single column. Maybe I want the lower quartile of the first 10 observations here, but then um, all 20 there. What I might do in that case is lock column A by putting a dollar symbol there. And let's have a look and see what happens when I copy that across see the number changes and when we look here it's updated the free A to a B but it hasn't changed the one with the dollar symbol in front of it. So that is the lower quartile of all of the first 20. If I drag that across again I get the lower quartile of all of the data. Okay so by using the dollar symbol I can affect the way that Excel changes um, the formulas as I copy and paste around the place.